welcome back to my channel this is kuldeep here as the part of today's session we will learn about the defect or bug life cycle and we will see what are the various stages in the defect life cycle it is one of the famous interview question as well so let's start so first let's try to understand what is the definition of defect life cycle so basically defect life cycle is the journey of a defect which defect goes through during its lifetime and uh, once during a testing QA reports a defect so it must be fixed and removed from the system a defect passes through the different stages before it gets closed so this is the definition of the defect life cycle and uh, here you can see the diagram for the defect life cycle it has the multiple stages in it right so i will try to explain these stages with help of an example so let's consider that we are testing this application and there is one requirement that once user clicks on this register button so a registration page gets opened with the multiple details and once user fills these details so he is able to register himself successfully okay so now let's move to our first stage so first stage is the new so once defect is found by the qa and log in the defect reporting tool so there are various defect reporting tools like jira bugzilla asana mantis okay so now let's try to connect this new state with the help of this example so once user clicks on this register link so let's consider that this registration page is not getting opened at all so which means that qa will report the defect for the same and the status of that defect will be new we need to keep a note that the new status does not mean that it is really a defect okay so let's move to the next stage next stage is assign once that defect is getting assigned to the development manager or lead or direct to the developer so it is moved to the assigned states okay the next stage is open stage as a part of open stage the development guy analyze that defect okay there can be possible outcome of this defect so like it can be duplicate rejected or deferred so let's understand what does it mean by duplicate so duplicate means it is quite possible that someone from the qa team has already re reported this defect so it becomes the duplicate and it is closed right next is the rejected so there can be couple of reasons that a defect gets rejected it is quite possible that it is not a defect at all or it is not getting reproduced as well so in that case that defect is moved to the closed state right now let's talk about this deferred state so deferred state says that yes that is a defect but we are not going to fix that defect in the current release so that defect is moved to the deferred state and it will be fixed in the next release so hope you are able to get these points like what can be the various outcome of the open state and how those defects will be treated let's move to the next stage that is the fixed stage so once the developer has analyzed that defect and found that it is a valid defect so he will fix that defect and do testing at their end to just ensure that it is working fine and they will check in the code and share a new build to qa for testing or validating that defect so now let's again connect things uh, with this example so after the analysis the developer found that yes it is a valid defect so what they will do actually they will fix that after clicking on this link a registration page is getting open okay so once the defect is fixed and the build is delivered to the qa 
So what the QA will do? They will do the retesting. After the retesting, you have found that this link is working fine and user is able to see the registration page, which means this defect is working fine at all. So that defect will be moved to the closest state. Okay. But let's consider that it is not working fine at all. Like even though development guys has fixed it, but still there are issues in it and it is not working. So the QA will reopen that defect. Okay. And after reopening that effect, it will again assign to the respective developer. So this is the whole flow and these are the various stages of uh, defect life cycle. I hope it is helpful. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.